What is up everyone and welcome to Eliza. A neat little indie game I saw a while back. Once again, it's one of those indie games that I saw, looked neat, I bought, and now what I remember, do I think I remember this one somewhat, is like you play the role of a therapist, I think is what you're doing. And like as you, you know, speak with your patients and whatnot, you learn more about these different stories and maybe how they connect to each other. And once again, I'm not entirely sure what this game is entirely all about. Um, we see the Space Needle, so we know it takes place in Seattle. And beyond that, I don't know. <laughs> New game. This game saves automatically. You can pick up where you left off by selecting Continue from the main menu. Thank you. Chapter 1. Oh, we have chapters. I had a dream this morning, but I can't remember what it was. Cool. It all vanished when the alarm went off. Oh. First time that's happened in a while. I've been drifting away inside my own world for too long. It's time for me to wake up. I like the art. What are you supposed to do on the light rail? Use your phone, I guess. Or look around. Oh. oh I see. Mail? You will do it. I believe in you. Oh, she sent herself the message. Nice. Skanda orientation. Contractor. Dear Evelyn Ishino Aubrey, congratulations. You are taking the first step on an exciting rewarding career with Skanda family. Please show up probably for your orientation meeting at 9 a.m. Name Ishino Aubrey Evelyn. Title Proxy 1. Contingent. Capstone. Evelyn, we want you back from Avalon Fitness. Was it something we said, Evelyn? We've noticed you haven't checked into your customized personal training plan to Avalon Fitness in the last 971 days. We get it. Life doesn't always move in a straight line. So we're offering a special 25-point bonus to your Avalon Prestige if you check in again within the next two weeks. There's never been a better time to get your health back on track. Of course. You have not received any messages yet. Yeah. Proxy. You're like someone people send messages to in a sort of Jim nearly already nags me about not working out. I don't need more of that. I don't need to play this game again. I should delete it. Have <laughs> many zenny. I'll give this game another try soon. Not right now, though. I might look, look at this later when I want to relax. This is fun, but I think I'm done with it for now. Sip chat. Okay. Must be commuting to work. Maybe it's her first day at a new job, too. Seems unlikely. Why does it automatically seem unlikely? You don't know her life. She's sleeping. I hope she doesn't miss her stop. I forgot how difficult getting around the city can be sometimes. Continue. Eliza, powered by Skanda. Okay, so Eliza's the name of the company we're for. Gotcha. Eliza, powered by Skanda. It's so strange to see it like this. Oh. Okay, what should I be doing here? Should I check into the front desk? Wait, there's a woman I met at the orientation meeting last week. Hi, you're Evelyn, right? You remember me? That's impressive. There were a lot of people at that orientation. Of course. I've done this for a while now, so I'm pretty good at putting names to faces. Cool. People always say they're bad at it, but it's a skill you can practice just like any other. In case you forgot, though, I'm Ray. Come to me with all your questions, comments, complaints, whatever. And if you look around and can't find me, I'm probably at one of the other two counseling centers I'm running right now. So you can count on me being back soon. Three centers? Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, it is a lot of work. This is kind of a temporary thing. Mm. We're growing fast, and hiring is one of our big challenges. That means there's decent opportunity for advancement here, if that's something you're looking to do. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Shall we start with a quick tour of the office? Yes, let's. Race starts with a tastefully appointed lobby. Love it. 
There are a few people already waiting for their counseling sessions to start. You could say the Queen Anne office is Eliza's flagship location. Uh -huh. It has 12 individual counseling rooms. Currently, we're up to seeing almost 100 clients a day wow. here. A hundred a day? That's so many. The growth trend isn't stopping either. Demand for Eliza keeps exceeding our expectations, especially here in Seattle, for whatever reason. <laughs> We're already looking at adding more <laughs> Seattle's just here. really Either fucking that depressed or apparently. another location close by. Personally, I think having a single office with 24 counseling rooms might seem a little unfriendly, so I hope we go for a second location. I like to think of Eliza centers like cafes or coffee shops. A few small ones is better than one big one. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Counseling centers like coffee shops. Odd metaphor. Ray leads me to into one of the counseling rooms. And here's where the magic happens in these little rooms. You'll get you your walk in, it's just a black cast and couch. <laughs> get your assignments from the Eliza app. Oh, one thing to note, it's always a good idea to double check the headset to make sure it's working properly before you dive in. We've had some quality control issues lately. After that, all you need to do is initiate the session and follow the instructions. Make sense so far? Any questions for me? I think you got it. I think I got it. Great. Okay. Before I go, just a few reminders of things we covered in orientation. No deviating from the script that Eliza gives you. Okay. No checking your smartphone or anything else that would take your attention away from the client during the session. Uh -huh. Yes, I understand. Ray stops for a moment and looks me over. It looks like you're dressed acceptably as well. Nothing snazzy, but it'll do. You wouldn't believe the outfit some people come in here wearing. Okay, let me double check to make sure you're all set up in the system. So see, yeah, I think part of it is you like monitor, Eliza is this AI that is supposed to like, from what I remember the synopsis, which once again, I bought this game fucking months ago. Uh, it's like this, Eliza is this AI that responds to these, that spits out what you should, that comes up with what you should respond to these messages with. Like actual people message you and then Eliza gives you a script that you have that's the thing you read the script back so it's not like in so that way it's not like an AI voice like Siri or Alexa or anything but the AI gives you a sentence that you say back to them so it seems like an actual person they're having a conversation with an actual professional you know and I think what part of the game is going to become is whether or not we agree with what the AI is telling us to say and whatnot Ray takes out her phone and swipes for a few times Yep, looks like you're all good to go. Okay, ready to start your first counseling session as an Eliza proxy? Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Don't worry, there's basically nothing you can do to mess it <laughs> up. Let's see about you just that. follow the prompts. It's a really impressive system. If you want, have a look around the counseling office first. Get comfortable. I'll check in with you afterward. Of course. Proxy can coordination center. Welcome. Dear blah, blah blah, thank you for signing up as an Eliza Proxy. Eliza is a rapidly growing counseling service driven by the world's most advanced AI. As a proxy, you serve as the personal touch that allows our clients to hear what they need to hear from a real human being, not a robot or virtual avatar like our competitors. This is the official Eliza app for proxies. In it, you can view important messages from Skanda, your session history, and your current level and badges. Enjoy your experience helping people. Helping people help themselves with Eliza, Proxy Coordination Center, Skanda Inc. Do not reply to this message. It's sent from an unmonitored email address. Important. Stick to the script. All. As Eliza Counseling Centers continue to open across the country, I want to take a moment to remind all provider proxies, please avoid deviating from the prior script. I know that it's tempting to come to conclusions about clients on your own, but Eliza will not work if proxies differ from its judgments. Keep in mind that you are present only in order to provide the human touch to an interaction that is fundamentally between the client and Eliza. Continual violation of this policy may result in reprimand or even termination. Right. Oh, do I get... Oh, I get badges. That's right. They mentioned something about that. So there are dozens of these locations already? Skanda is putting some serious investment into this. Uh-huh. Do I want coffee? Actually, I think I'll skip it. Hmm. Hope spring comes soon. At least the days are getting longer now. Yeah. I wish spring would come faster. 
Winter fucking sucks. Didn't you? Time to get started. It really looks like a therapist's office in here. Soft lighting, soothing art on the walls. Was this how I imagined it working? I can't remember anymore. The, f the future happened without me. Oh. The headset activates. A distant looking man shuffles into the room and sits down across from me. Right, this is how it works. Hello, Darren. Hello, Darren. Hi. You found the place okay? Yeah. Hope you didn't rain. Hope you didn't get rained on too much. No, it was fine. <laughs> it's been raining a lot, hasn't it? It's supposed to clear up later today. Oh. Am I getting timed on how long it takes me to respond? Maybe. Oh, um, that's good. Little sun once in a while. But... Set phrase Discovery 101. Darren, what brings you here today? Well, uh, I just feel empty inside. I feel that. Like there was supposed to be something there, but it's missing. Hmm. I, I go I go to work, I, I do my work, I go home, but there's nothing there. I feel like I'm simulating a person. Like, I, I feel like just hollow and like I'm not even alive. Like a ghost or something. Sentiment analyzer. Hollow. Negative. How long have you felt this way? How long have you felt this way? For a long time. Mm. And it comes and goes, but... The last two weeks is when it really started to get bad. It just suddenly came over me the way, you know, the way things are going in this world. There's no future for humanity. There's no journey toward anything. We're being cruel to each other just to be cruel. The people who run things don't care about anything <laughs> except themselves. Cruel. Negative. Cruel. Negative. Everyone is driven by greed. Just greed. Everyone wants to win. <laughs> greed, Everyone greed. wants to get rich. And we're all going to die because of it. The damage we're doing to the planet is irreversible. Die. Negative. Damage. Negative. We're destroying everything, and we can't even manage to stop ourselves. <laughs> destroying. Do you remember anything in particular that caused these feelings? The state of the world is what's causing these feelings. Fair enough. I was on a walk the other day. I thought maybe uh, I could clear my head. And all I could see was construction cranes and new development and oceans of money flowing in, distorting everything. Suddenly the whole city felt so, so damaged, so corrupted. I felt like I was an alien in a hostile world, a world that hated me. And we're building it. We're building this hell. We're choosing <laughs> hell. to build it right here. So, so what's the point? Probably overloaded your system with that, huh? Your machine learning or whatever it is you got going on in there. Let's focus on you. Don't worry about me. Let's focus on you for the moment. What are these feelings? Are these feelings you're experiencing affecting your ability to function at work? I haven't been doing a whole lot of work. I just don't understand why I should bother. Why anyone should bother. <sighs> Can't say I disagree Nobody in with management's that. noticed yet, but eventually someone will. I'll get fired. Well, what's the point? And how does thinking about getting fired for that make you feel? Honestly, I feel good about it. They don't deserve me dragging them down. Oof. Everyone there is smart and motivated and has a wonderful, promising career. You have beautiful, successful people. We moved to a swanky new building, expensive area, fancy restaurants, you know, fancy bars. Everything is nice. Everything is nice, and I feel terrible. Mm -hmm. You said you believe your co-workers are happy. Yeah. I mean, way more than I am, at least. How would you know? They're all doing so much better than me. Why do you say that? Because they just aren't bothered by things the way I am. How do you know that? You don't know that. They see what's going on in the world, and they just, they just share memes about it, and laugh and go on doing their jobs 
They're the real horror of it doesn't get through to them. They still want to achieve their goals. They're still happy. They're getting promotions and falling in love and getting married and taking these wonderful trips to Japan or Sweden or wherever. Big mountains and expensive food on their timeline. Would you be happy if you had those things too? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have them. I don't have anything to be happy about. Look, all I really want, all I want is to understand why. Why this is happening. Why I'm here. I mean, there has to be a reason, right? Because otherwise, why do I, why do I exist? Why? Sir, this, I did not expect you to, this game to kick off like existential off the bat. This pain, this, uh, this one thing after another. And what's the point? Do I have any cause to be hopeful about anything? Look at this world. It look really, really look and tell me with the straight face that there is. Okay, Darren, let's try something. <laughs> Imagine that things are better for you. What does that look like? What does that look like? I don't know. It Think like about it. Knowing that something matters at, at all. But nothing I do will matter. Nothing matters. Not against the face of human indifference, this, this absurdity. Mm -hmm. Are there any other things that come to mind? Like what? I wish I could talk to people. Really talk to people, have some actual communication. Interesting. Like right now, I wish I could talk to you. To you. You as a human being. But I can't. You're just following the script that's been given to you. You're not supposed to say anything on your own. Look, I know how this works. It's just a bunch of AI, machine learning, deep learning, whatever the fuck you're calling it now. Look, I'm desperate and I can't even- <laughs> Sentiment anal analyzer. Fuck. Negative. <laughs> How did it end up like this? Please, try to stay focused. I can't help you if you aren't speaking clearly. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Look, I, I shouldn't even have come. This is, this is making me worse. Why can't you just talk to me as you? You, the person sitting there. I don't want to talk to a machine. The person who's sitting in front of me. I want her to say something. I want that person to say something. Please. Anything. Anything. Please. 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 Okay. Hi, Darren. Is that... Is that really you? <laughs> oh, God. Yes, it's me. You're not following the script right now? God damn, this computer is fucking. Wait, say, so, say something weird. Say something only a human would say. Darren, I'm going to get in trouble if I deviate from Eliza for too long. Oh, I know, I just. My real name is Evelyn. Yeah? Well, it's uh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Evelyn. Huh. I didn't expect you would actually do that. Do that for me. I'm not used to people doing things for me. Yikes. Yep, and then... Yeah, this is gonna fuck him up, though. I have some recommendations for you. Fucking recommend robot. Okay, Darren. I have some recommendations for you. Back to the program, huh? Mm -hmm. First, I'm going to send a set of breathing exercises for you to do. Use them when things start to feel like too much. You'll find them in the Skonda Wellness app on your phone. Nah, I've, she went back to robot mode too soon. He's not gonna like that. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about anexophen. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, thank you. No, no, oh God. Please confirm that you understand the recommendations. Yes, yes, I, I, I did. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, I will. I mean, yeah. Okay. I, so this, oh. this, this robot's big smart. I thought there was going to be a point there where we actually would have to break, but no, the robot's like, okay, I'm speaking to you now. This is me. It's like, whoa, robot, you smart motherfucker. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. 
Okay, okay. Completed beginner proxy, new client, sympathetic. So those are, those are badges I got, but how do they work? <laughs> wow, uh... Successfully completed an Eliza session. Completed a session with a client new to Eliza. Completed first counseling session as a proxy. Counseled someone with a mood rating of point of five or below. Okay. That was intense. Yeah, yeah, it was. Hey, how'd it go? I I don't know. Why? What happened? Uh, hold on, I can check the log. Ready to front of pocket again. You're going to listen to the session. Is that okay? Oh yeah, I have privacy clearance. This is still a new service, so we need to be able to monitor sessions for a variety of reasons. Yeah. There could be bugs in the software we need to examine more closely. We're pretty upfront about all this. Ray stares at her phone and watches for a while. Mm. <laughs> One of these guys. Yeah, we get people in who demand to speak to a real human being. It happens often enough that we made Eliza capable of handling it with the special script. It's nice to know things are working as designed. Yeah, but I think that guy's going to come back. He's going to ask to speak to a normal person again. And she's going to start repeating the same script again. He's just going to be like, wait a minute. We've, has it all been a fucking act? Huh. That's a pretty sick feature. I wouldn't have thought to create something like that. Do you think that guy will be okay? He seemed pretty unhappy. Who knows? Hopefully he gets his prescription and takes his meds and answers our follow-up reminders, but it's tough. We can't make them take their meds or come in when they're supposed that to. That's true. Like, ultimately, even, like, trained professionals, like, the actual professionals can't make you do that shit. So, regardless of whether it's an AI telling you to do it or an actual human, like, no one can force you to do this shit. That's entirely on them. All we can do is suggest those things, tell them that they really ought to be doing mm -hmm. it. Ultimately, they're the ones who have to decide to follow the plan. Facts. It's kind of a shame. I, uh, I wish we had more leverage. We'd help way more people if we could track their compliance. Yeah, but I don't think people would appreciate it. It's like, they constantly got reminders like, listen, you, you didn't pick up your meds. Hey, motherfucker, you didn't pick up your, hey, hey, dude, you didn't pick up your meds. Like, I don't think that'd really be the best route either. But that's probably too much to ask for at this point. I think he might have needed way more help than Eliza can give. Is there anything like referring clients to other forms of care? Ray looks a little surprised. Well, there is a disclaimer before every session saying if your problems are really serious, we aren't qualified to address them. I think an external care referral feature was on our development roadmap at some point. Um, I'm not sure what happened with that, actually. Huh, maybe I'll ask Ed next time I see him. <laughs> I see, yeah, I definitely see why they're tempted. I see why a lot of proxies are tempted to go off script. Yeah, I totally know how it feels. A really intense client like that can be intimidating, and you're motivated to help them. But to succeed as a proxy, you really need to let go and let Eliza do its thing. I know that not having any choice feels weird, but sometimes life is like that. Yeah, no doubt. Sometimes you don't have any choices, and you just have to follow directions. Most jobs are like that, honestly. True. That's just how it works. Okay, it just sounded like... He sounded like he could use more help. Like, maybe right away. Believe me, I understand. I've been a proxy plenty of times myself. When people get emotional, it's hard not to feel for them really strongly. But that's exactly why Eliza works. It evaluates from a more distant perspective. A neutral perspective. Besides, if proxies started offering their own opinions, well, that'd just be a big mess. Not to mention there'd be all kinds of problems with liability. Mm -hmm. Still, I get it. I really do. That was definitely more intense than the average session. Why don't you take a few minutes to center yourself again? Have some tea or coffee and take a few deep breaths. No rush, okay? Okay, thanks, Ray. Okay, thanks, Ray. That was a lot. Yeah, it sure was. Definitely need a moment. From Nora. Who looks Nora? <laughs> 